If you struggle with school motivation, keeping things organized, your time management, burnout, but you wanna get better at it, this video is your ultimate guide for how to become the best student that you can be. With love from your fellow ADHD chronic procrastinating girly who almost failed out of school like not that long ago, but since then I've turned things around. And along the way, I've been learning so many things that have just helped me out immensely to feel like I have things under control and to be the best student I can be. I'm not perfect and I'm still learning, but we can be on this journey together. I really wanna share the things that I've learned with you. For me, a good morning is so important to a good day. I really like to take some time in the morning for myself, whether that's doing a workout, reading a book for pleasure, not for school. And I always like to make sure I make my bed. I feel like everyone says it. It really does help you set up your day for success. We need to avoid burnout. And to do that, we need to keep up our motivation. And to do that, we need to be setting habits. How does one actually set and stick to habits? In the book, Atomic Habits, James Clear talks about the strategy called habit stacking. Basically, it's really hard to just all of a sudden throw in a new habit into your routine. And then we feel discouraged and we stop even trying to set habits to begin with. There's actually so many habits that you already do throughout your day. Yes, they may be small, like when you wake up, you might go to the bathroom or brush your teeth. Hopefully you brush your teeth. And instead of just throwing a new habit into your routine, you can start to link habits. For example, for me, one habit I don't struggle to keep is making my coffee in the morning. I love making coffee and I, I can't function without my coffee. So the coffee is getting made one way or another. But if there's a new habit I wanna start creating, like for me, editing my YouTube video for 30 minutes every day, I can start linking that to my coffee. So every time I make my coffee and I sit down to drink it in the morning, I'm also gonna pair that now with editing my YouTube video for 30 minutes. For you, that could be doing your reading for class, doing your homework, and that will help you so much to actually start incorporating those new habits and feeling more successful and like you can stick to habits. Look at you go. Which in the long run will help you so much to not feel burnt out. I'm about to go to class, so I thought we'd start this video off by me showing you kind of the things that I like to do before class that help me be successful in class. Definitely looking over my reading before class, even if I've already read it. And I wanna be able to partake in the conversations in class because I actually feel like when I go to class and I engage in the conversation, I almost always feel like I understand what's going on a lot better because talking through things truly helps your brain so much to grasp concepts. me listen let's just be honest you're not getting any work done just sitting in your bed cocooned in a blanket with a cup of tea it sounds really nice but that can be your reward when you finish your homework instead have a designated space that work gets done at so whenever you go to sit at the spot maybe a desk you're, you've already linked the idea of when I sit here I get work done I try really hard to, to keep my desk clean and I've also really taken some time to make it something that feels inspiring but not too overstimulating so that I can focus. But it's a space that I enjoy sitting at. If you still feel unfocused there, take it one step further and actually leave your home. Go to the library, find little places on campus that are quiet. Personally, I don't even really like the library at my school, but I do love like just these little nooks and crannies that I've found over the years. If it's not too distracting for you, you could go to a coffee shop. Sometimes, especially when you're just so unmotivated, getting out, leaving the house, and telling yourself, you know, I'm not allowed to leave this spot until I finish is so helpful and will just make you realize like I was really procrastinating so much at the house. So it's, it's good I left. I used to have such a hard time literally just motivating myself to get to class. I would show up late in my pajamas or I wouldn't show up at all. But once I started romanticizing school and leaning into these vibes, I became 100% more excited about going to school. I might make an entire video about this, but briefly I do this by making Pinterest boards, going to class early so I can enjoy my walk and see the campus, having fun with my stationery, replacing my backpack with a book bag, watching Gilmore Girls on repeat, and of course my outfits. Of course what you wear is not the most important thing when it comes to school. However, I I truly believe that when you have a comfortable outfit that is cute, makes you feel good, you will be more productive, you'll be more motivated to go to school, your day will just be more enjoyable. So, which leads me to the sponsor of today's video, which is White Fox. 
Thank you so much, White Fox, for sponsoring this video. I literally love White Fox. They also stock White Fox Swim and White Fox Active. Afterpay is available for customers in US, Australia, and New Zealand, and White Fox has worldwide shipping. Let's put together some outfits, give you some outfit inspo for school, and I really like White Fox because every piece I'm gonna show you today is literally so comfortable, it can be paired in so many ways. And I really just wanted some pieces that are super versatile and I can just use them in so many outfits and pieces that are super comfortable for when I'm sitting all day at school. So let's put together some outfits. First, we have this sweater, which is literally so comfortable. Now let's put something on to dress it up a little bit for school. Okay, this skirt is literally my new go-to pleated skirt for fall. Is that not so cute? That is literally the perfect pleated skirt. This is the Cover Me Up sweater in oat, and this is the Life Like This plaid mini skirt in mocha. Okay, I think I'm gonna style most of the outfits around this skirt. I also got these boots from White Fox. Um, they're so comfortable, just so chic looking. So cute. The shoes are the Johnson Knee High Boots in Buttercream. This shirt is gonna be one of my staples this fall and winter. Literally the softest material. Pair this with so many things. This outfit is so cute. I love the silhouette of this shirt. I'm gonna be able to wear it with so many things. It's nice to just have like some basics in your closet that you can pair with like a bunch of different outfits. It's gonna be so nice to wear on like a long day of school. Okay, I also got this shirt in another color. This is the perfect everyday brown shade. Love the way these look together. This is really giving dark academia. Like I'm going to the bookstore, but spend some time in the library. I think it's cool that I'll basically be able to pair everything with this skirt. This is the Bring It Down long sleeve top in mocha. Okay, this one, um, Blair Waldorf who? Are you kidding me? I feel like this is totally those dark academia vibes. Ready for the back? What? I've been looking for a black top like this for so long now. I'm so excited to have it. It feels very witchy, perfect for the fall. This is the Ever Since Then long sleeve top in black. I love this. It's just so comfortable. I cannot get over how comfortable it is. There also has a little belt, which I think is really cute. This is the only for tonight long sleeve top in mocha. And here's that same like fabric and color top, but a different cut. I'm gonna reach for this top so often i just know it i also got this big chunky scarf are you kidding this is like a blanket <laughs> this is so cute especially as it starts to get colder imagine my like early morning classes in the late fall when it's getting super chilly in the morning and i can just roll up in this my little cappuccino and just be like so cozy The scarf is called the Winter Warmth Oversized Scarf in the color Moss. Okay, this is literally the perfect black fall dress. I feel like I never really had like a perfect little black dress before, but I feel like this is it. The silhouette is so pretty. This is a summer crush mini dress in black. So cute for like a night out. Just like a day where you feel like wearing a dress to school. This is so pretty. Just this comfy little number. Top, some pants, some really comfy. And this bolero. This is just so nice to like wear around the house. And this bolero is so nice. I want to wear it to ballet with like my leotards and stuff. This is the faithful knitted pants in black and the don't choose two piece knitted crop in black. You can use code Gigi for 20% off between now and October 20th, and after that, 15% off. Thank you so much, White Fox, for sponsoring this video. Make sure you go check them out in the link below. Mwah.
Now I want to show you how I actually organize my life and share some study and focus tips that have literally helped me so much, basically just giving you a handbook on making your life easier. For me, this all starts with a clean space, and I truly believe a clear mind is dependent on a space that feels clear too. I like to set a timer for 10 to 20 minutes every day to just tidy up because doing it like this will make cleaning feel so much more manageable than waiting till the end of the week. We need some organizational system that will help you stay on top of things, make sure you're not forgetting stuff, will help you actually make sure that you're scheduling in the time that you need to complete the things that you need to do. Though I personally use my journals, my planners more for school related things, I love Notion. I'm a huge, I'm a huge Notion fan. Notion is basically this like planning, organizing, scheduling website. I use Notion daily for organization of all of my out of school creative projects. It's like my main thing that I use to help me organize my YouTube. By the way, this is not my template. I have personalized. I'll try to link it down below. Start of each week, I'll basically empty this and start over. It has a daily check in. It asks me again for my top priorities. It has quick links to all of my courses. I need to change some of these emojis, but I have everything linked to my course like syllabus there. I have a study playlist and then here is where I can fill in my assignment. So one of the things that has been the most helpful for me to relearn how to do and just prioritize doing is planning and I want to show you how I do it. I feel like I've really cracked the code, especially if you're someone who struggles to manage your time. My brain just works best with physical planners. I like that they're physical spots, I can cross things off. And the act of physically writing stuff down for me really gives my brain like some peace of mind. But we'll start with my daily planner, which has become so essential for me. I have just like a normal like monthly planner with Papier, which I love, but I find myself using this daily one every single day. The way this is laid out is that first you'll have a weekly overview where you can really think out your week looking at my life from just one week at a time and having it all on like one page has been incredibly helpful. My favorite part about this section is that it also has your top three priorities for the week which is something that I have been working on thinking of at the start of each week. And I love that this planner like actually makes you sit down and think about those top three priorities. Sometimes it can be so overwhelming to just be thinking about all the billions of things you need to do and sitting down and forcing yourself to decide like what are actually the three top priorities that have to get done this week is so important. Then it actually provides a day for every single day of the week. So you have an entire page for every single day. That's something that in that in like classic journals, I was always missing. Here again, it asks you to think of your top three priorities for just that day. And then you can actually schedule out your time. Something that I've been working on as someone with ADHD and just like bad time management skills, this has actually, this has like literally changed my life. Super important to be thinking about how long everything is going to take me. And to do that, I have to schedule in things like showering things like making breakfast, those little tiny things, and the fact that this page is big enough so that I can have the space to include those in the rest of the schedule of that day and map out how long everything should be taking me has helped me so much. Okay, moving on, we have my academic planner, which is also from Papier. This planner is super nice because it has a monthly section where you can map out big things like big assignments and stuff like that to kind of just have an overview of your month and kind of keep everything on pace. Then we get into the actual weekly overview where the only thing I'll write here is assignments and stuff for school, but I usually like to use two different colored pens. I'll write things in one color for the day that I want to be working on that assignment and then I'll write in a different color to signify the day that things are due. I'll also, if it's neat enough, draw an arrow between the two things to connect them so that my brain can see, okay, I have from this day to this day to get this assignment done. Not only see when everything is due, but also to budget in when I'll actually be doing those assignments. I'm literally the queen of procrastination. I'm like known for writing a good essay an hour before it's due. And is that kind of a cool party skill? Sure, but it's definitely not a habit I want to keep. Some basic study tips that you probably have heard, but like I'm gonna tell you again because if you're not already doing them, like I wasn't doing them, you need to be doing them. 
Because of my phone addiction, I always make sure to put my phone on do not disturb when I'm trying to do my work. I need to listen to like specific like sound wave, like brain wave focus music. Way too into Beethoven to focus while I listen. <laughs> to go with that, I would get yourself a good pair of headphones. These are the pair I have. They're the Bose headphones. I asked on my Instagram story last year, like the best noise canceling headphones and so many people recommended these. And I actually think these are like the best purchase I've ever made. So if you struggle with focus, like these are gonna be your best friend. Now to bring this all together is the ultimate tip, which is the timer trick. The timer trick has single-handedly kept me in school. You set your timer for X amount of time, pair that with Do Not Disturb in your focus music and try to completely focus on the dreaded task until it goes off. For me, it helps me to actually start those things that have been procrastinating and just do it because it makes it feel a little bit less awful and like, I only need to do this until the timer goes off. You can do this for so many aspects of your life, but for studying, I like to do it in increments of 30 to 50 minutes of focus study followed by a 10 to 50 minute break, then another two rounds of that before finally finishing with a longer break for a total time of one and a half to two and a half hours of studying depending on how long your sessions were and before you realize it, you've you've done the task. If I do take notes physically, I love to spice it up with some colorful pen and try to just make my notes super cute. For readings that are a little bit harder, I'll underline things that seem important to me. And then in the margins, I would write like key ideas or things I was taking away in my own words that then at the very end, when I needed to refer back to it, or figure out like what I had learned from the reading, I could refer back to those main points that had I had written in the margins. My last tip for really dense readings would be not to be afraid to A, read out loud, or B, get an audible. My brain works so much better when I hear something or when I can read it out loud. Reading things out loud, I feel like helps you so much to like actually like understand what you're saying, what you're reading. Hello, I guess I didn't film an outro to this video. <laughs> I wanted to end out this video by just reminding you that the most important thing also is that you're taking breaks and you're feeling okay and aren't feeling guilty when you're taking break. Taking breaks, doing things for fun, hanging out with people you love, watching a comfort show and just recharging are all productive. You have to recharge and to take care of yourself to be able to do anything. I hope that this video was helpful, even just a little bit. It's so much fun making it. Thank you so much again to White Fox for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys go check them out in the description below. I love you all so, so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Good night. Mwah. Well, darling, you lied, and you lied, and you lied. Cause you're just so